We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show and the stone grinders for nut butters and chocolate are back and available and I'm extremely excited about this. Now, as everybody knows, we've been making the most incredible almond butter and cashew butter that I've been actually making for my family for a very long time. And now we've decided to start making it for the Raw Food World after many, many requests. It's like, seriously, liquid caramel. There's never been a consistency like this. The other um, companies that do stone ground almond butter are probably using bigger ones and there's so much in there at one time, it just doesn't grind as effectively as these smaller ones, even though they grind it for three days. When we grind ours for three days, it just turns into this. And with these stone grinders that we have available on our website right now, you can actually make your own incredible almond butter, Brazil nut butter, whatever you want, cashew butter, in your own home now. Now, <clears throat> what we have here, which we're gonna have on our website very soon, is Brazil nut butter, which is absolutely ridiculous also. And we also have um, cashew butter. We're actually stone grinding this one right now. Check it out, if you wanna just come in. Uh... This has just been going for less than about 24 hours now. Just pure creamy cashew butters, the Indonesian cashews. And the longer you keep it in there, the more liquidy it gets. If you like more of a thicker nut butter, you could just do it for a few hours. You could literally get any type of nut butter within six hours if you really wanted to. All right. So now the more oily the nut is, the more of a liquid consistency it turns into. As many people know, the Brazil nut is a very high oil content. And as you can see, it practically comes out as just pure liquid when you make this. Look at that. It's like, it's like liquid. And if you keep this in the refrigerator, for like three weeks, Brazil nut butter, and it depends on the temperature of your refrigerator too, but it happens in my refrigerator every time I've ever done it. What happens is the oil starts to globulate into like little globules. And um, it, the oil kind of rises to the top and it's globulated all throughout, but especially at the top. And I just like, my daughter loves it too. We just like skim off the globules and eat it. And the whole thing is just globulated. It's just incredible. But anyways, you can now make these own, your own almond butter, cashew butter, all the different kinds of butter, nut butters you want in your own home because now we have available to you these stone grinders and we're offering them at cost um, for the next couple of weeks, which is just unbelievable. Now there are a few things I wanted to share with you today on how to utilize the stone grinder in the most effective way. So I've made every kind of nut butter there are in these and the best nut butters that you can do are almond butter, Brazil nut butter, wild jungle peanut butter, um, tahini, coconut butter, Brazil nut butter, pine nut butter is ridiculous, macadamia nut butter, they all work really well. And the things that have a higher fat content turn into more liquid, it's like crazy amounts of liquid, while almonds and cashews are a bit thicker. Now there are some nuts that don't do too well, which are walnuts and pecans. They work really well. The issue is they are kind of bitter because they have pieces of the shell maybe from the outside or that little wrap on the inside. Not the shell, but like that little internal wrap around those nuts. Hazelnut butter also does extremely well. So now I'm gonna show you the ins and outs of this. Um, when you buy one of these, we also recommend that you get a belt with it or two, just in case, because that's generally from putting too much in too fast if you're impatient like myself. Um, the belt can kind of get messed up and it has to be replaced sometimes. Um, another critical thing that we do is we put fans on the stone grinder and what that does is it keeps it under the raw temperature. It'll bring it, it'll take it, it'll make it like 90 something degrees. I've done it without the fans and it goes all the way up to like 126, 127 and then it's no, not, no longer raw anymore. And we have this temperature gun just to make sure that everything's in line. So what we have here, just if anybody's wondering, I'm actually headed back to Ecuador, and we've got Cameron, the manager of the business here. Um, he's taking over the nut butters, so um, I've already showed him how to do everything, and so we brought it here for him to take over while I go away. 
So the key is, um, when you first start grinding the nuts down into to make nut butter, um, as you notice, the way this thing is put together is it has these stone wheels, and it has the stone bottom. And when you get it started, when you put this on, you can keep turning it and turning it until it gets really tight. But I like to just get it on the screw and leave it really loose. Um, and then once you have filled up as much nut nuts in here that you want and let it let it shrink to a semi-consistency of liquid, then when I'm all done putting stuff in there anymore, what I'll do is I'll turn this all the way down to where it makes the wheels go against the bottom stone really hardcore. So um, I like to keep it loose until then, So, or it might get stuck um, if it's too tight at first and you put too much in at one time. So what you do is you just start it like that, and what we have here is almonds ground down into a powder in the, any food processor works. So what you do is, um, I like to just fill the bottom. Like that. Just so that it's filled with nuts on the bottom. And I let it go for probably like 10 minutes. And then I'll come back and do more. And then generally it takes like a half, depending on how full you want this, it generally takes a half a day to get it to the top. Um, and the reason why you want to do it slowly is because if you put too much in, it will jam, and that's not good for the belt. And if you do it this way that I'm telling you right now, the belt will probably never go bad. Um, sometimes I get a little bit too excited and I put too much in too fast, and that's what happens. Um, but it happens really quickly. Um, every 15, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, you can add more and more and more. And the more there is in here already that's already turned into a liquid, it will actually turn into a liquid without it all the way down, all the way tight. But when it starts to get higher, you can put more of this in without any issue for some reason, because it's within the nut butter liquid and it goes fast. It, goes, it, doesn't, it just makes no issue. You can probably put this entire thing in as you get higher. So those are the key components in, or, in how to do nut butters. Um, we'll let this go for like five or 10 minutes and we'll show you what it does. You can also do cacao. Lots of people, chocolatiers, use stone grinders. They stone, stone ground cacao. What you do is you can just take nibs or beans, ground them down into a powder and just do the same thing and add all the ingredients you want in there. Um, I also make peely nut, no chocolate butter, which we're also gonna have for our website soon, as soon as the labels come in. Um, where I make it, there's no chocolate in there, but we use carob, mesquite, it's completely low, low glycemic because of that. Stevia and my daughter and Angela absolutely love it. So um, that's pretty much it. And you can do all of these different nut butters. Um, we introduced these stone grinders many, many years ago. Um, and if you want to see the video of where I do almond butter, macadamia butter, pine nut butter, hazelnut butter, tahini, and coconut butter, you can click the link below and it's available there right now. Okay, so this has been going for about 10 minutes, no, actually like five minutes now. Um, if you want to come up closer, you can see that it's already been breaking it down very fast. And then we just add a bit more to cover the bottom again. And it's only in the beginning stages where we want to be extremely careful as it starts to become more and more liquidy it just becomes a piece of cake after that. So here we are. You can make the most incredible nut butters on the planet. If you're to use the same almonds that we're using, the sweet ones instead of like the European bitter ones, it's just absolutely unbelievable. 
me and my family just pour this on blueberries like every day or whatever we're getting to the fruit or whatever. Anyways, so here we have it. We've got stone grinders where you can make your own nut butters and chocolate in the comfort of your own home at cost. And this is Mount Monarch, rocking it here live. And we'll see you next time at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.